Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Fly, Fly Fishing. And let's talk about a little leader hack that uh, proved to be very useful to me over the years for dry fly fishing. Uh, it started roughly 20 years ago. I was uh, fishing Grand River up by Fergus, and it was a fairly flat run. Uh, there was a, a good hatch going on of uh, caddis, uh, hydropsyche mostly. And I had the perfect match for a fly. I had a tan caddis on, which had the right body color, right size, you name it. Bingo. It's a relatively flat run. doesn't look too terribly difficult from a technical standpoint. And I couldn't get a sniff. I couldn't even get a decent refusal. And these fish were not touching my fly. So, when that happens, I stop fishing. I don't want to put the fish down by continually casting over them and over them. You know, it's like uh, hoping that... You know, one of them will be stupid enough to take the fly. And I looked at the run, and it's a little deceptive. It's flat, but it has a few little swirly bits in it that, you know, would kick the lead around a little bit. But uh, I was really concerned that, you know, these fish were being selective. It was a bright day, and, you know, maybe there was a reason why my leader was turning them off. Now, I know the recommendation is you don't put fluorocarbon for dry fly leaders. Fluorocarbon sinks. It'll drag your fly down, yada, 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 yada. I looked at it from a different perspective. I'm aware of the dimpling and the appearance that mono has, or anything for that matter, sitting in the surface film of water. So I've got this little clip. This is 6X uh, fluorocarbon tippet in a little water tank with a, a caddis uh, dry fly attached to it. And I want you to notice a couple of things from this clip. Uh, I tied a knot. I mean, I've just tied the knot and dropped it in the water. So my skin oils are on the uh, fluorocarbon next to the fly. And you'll notice that's floating. But the fluorocarbon that is a little further removed from that point is just underneath the, uh, the uh, surface tension of the water. So what you're seeing with that surface tension problem is that where the fluorocarbon is just denting the surface film, look at the reflection, look at the black spots, look at the reflectiveness of it. It is, it just, just blasts out like, you know, this is odd, this is weird, this is wrong. Where the fluorocarbon is just below the surface, it's just a little thin line. So when I extended my leader by 18 inches, two feet with 6X of fluorocarbon, I think I had either, a, probably had a 5X uh, leader on at the time. So I added about two foot of 6X tippet, and after a couple of minutes, it was just one fish after another. All I did was add that 18, 18 inches, two foot of 6X fluorocarbon, poof. It went from no fish, not even a refusal, to one after another, after another, after another. And this pattern repeated. Uh, I kept doing little experiments. You know, I'll go up, try a few casts with straight monoliter, then extend it with some fluorocarbon. Bang, 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 bang. So what happens is, well, obviously, you're going to have some skin oils on the fluorocarbon when you first tie the knot, so it's going to look like my um, uh, little t test tank. But after you've cast it for a while, that'll come off, and it'll start to sink properly. And now you don't get that big, ugly reflection right next to the fly. So you've got a much, much better chance of the fish coming up and grabbing that fly if there's not these great, big, shiny, black blobs right next to the fly that look unnatural. So if you've got your typical 4X, 5X leader, go down maybe two diameters at most just to make sure you don't have problems with knots. And you can attach mono and um, fluorocarbon together, no problem. That'll work. Just wet, wet it carefully. And if you're going to use a triple surgeon's knot, which is my favorite for tippet knots, what I do is I make the, the knot, then I grab both the tags in the main line and just wet them well. Just gently snug it down. So it just so the, the, lead, the knot flips over into that figure eight shape, then I just grab the main lines and give them a yank. Obviously with 6X, I'm not giving it much of a yank, but that seats the knot and it tests the knot. So if you've got a problem with the knot, it'll break right there. So that's the easiest and quickest and most reliable way of connecting mono and fluorocarbon together. It works. I have no trouble. I've landed big fish on this uh, combination of mono and um, 
fluorocarbon, so don't worry about it. I mean, you tie the knot properly, it'll hang in there, no trouble. So remember, if you're having problems with the refusals, or you just can't get the fish to even look at your fly, and you know it's not the fly, it's your leader. And the simplest solution for that is a couple of feet of fluorocarbon on the end of it. And that fluorocarbon will sink. Uh, once the skin oils have come off of it, the whole thing will sink, and it becomes far less visible. Plus, if you go from 4X or 5X down to 6X, you're getting a little bit more flexibility in, in the tippet, and you're likely to have less problems with micro drag. So the whole thing works for you. Uh, and I find taking a typical 9 foot leader and turning it into an 11 foot leader makes quite a difference you know, when the fish are fussy. So give it a try. Cheers.